guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Abongile Moya and I am a computer science and a business computing student starting at UCT and I'm doing my third year I've never actually said it out loud on my channel but I'm doing my third year well in business computing not in computer science hey <laughs> but that's a story for another day that's a story for another day I made a video similar to this one two years back when I explained five reasons why a person should choose computer science at university as their major. In that video, I explained reasons like flexibility and creativeness, um, challenge that computer science gives you, it sort of challenges your mind and abilities. Is that is a demanded skill in the current market in the current job market and that you get the perks of working remotely and that financial stability actually pays very well so those are the reasons that I explained in that video while I still believe that those reasons that I mentioned in that video are still valid even in the year 2024 but I do want to emphasize or perhaps to add other reasons in this video so if you like some of that don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe to my channel otherwise let's get into it so the first reason that I have on my list is there is a high demand for tech professionals in South Africa so I recently learned a term called digital transformation in one of my lectures information systems so what business what digital transformation is it is basically the integration of technology in business areas so it consequently changes the way um, businesses they sell they advertise and they actually deliver their products to customers and there is a rise of digital transformation across across the world and also just in South Africa and one of the ways that you can actually see digital transformation is that every store now must have an online store in order for it to gain presence and to gain relevance in order for them to increase their sales is that everybody now is on their phone and they have to have some sort of social media presence or some digital presence in order for them to drive their sales up and because there is this rise of digital transformation there is also rise or there is basically a demand a significant demand for tech professionals so for people who are doing IT cyber security software development data analyst business analyst project manager those are people those are people that are needed and they're demanded in the job market because of this digital transformation in the world and in South Africa or across Africa and while I was basically researching for this video, I came across this um, came across this article. I think from World Forum, World Job Forum. I um, forgot the title of the or the article, but it basically predicts that according to their research that they've conducted, about a quarter of jobs today of today's jobs will be disrupted by technology but about 69 million jobs will be created in the world though in the world due to technology and also green transition i guess green transition is removing rem from non-renewable resources to renewable resources but basically the point is there are a lot of jobs that are going to be disrupted in the future by technology but there are also a lot of jobs that are going to be created um, in the future through technology now I know that you must not take stats at face value you know you must not take stats as it is because anything at any moment can happen and disrupt those stats we saw with COVID-19 right that you thought things were gonna go this way but they actually went on another direction but it is better to be in a career that is predicted to last in the future than to be in a career that's going to be disrupted in the future so i think that being in the tech space there's a job prospect um of you getting a job basically in the near future whereas with somebody who's going who's do not doing computer science or other careers that are going to be eliminated by tech they will be jobless in the future. So that's one of the reasons that I basically wanted to talk about. It's the high demand of um, of tech in high demand of tech professionals in South Africa and also globally. The 
second reason on my list is creativity and flexibility I mentioned this um, in in the previous video but um, in order for me to drive my point up to drive a point with this reason I do want to talk about start tech startups so I recently met up with somebody who is in the tech industry or basically in the startup industry startup ecosystem and they told me about this wonderful I'm gonna say project but it's basically a full-blown organization called Innovation City the way I would define Innovation City, I would say it's a hub. Basically, it's a place where startup founders, startup co-founders, they meet with potential investors and innovators. They come together and they share ideas, they share, solu share solutions. And at the end, the startup founder might get financial support or sometimes advertising from the investors if maybe they can't help them but it's basically a cool place where business tech business is basically talked <laughs> yes that's what I can say but in South Africa there is this emerging startup um, ecosystem that is starting you know and that's the beauty of being in the tech industry is that you can basically create your own business from um, from your mind from your home you know and there's it's not easy to get funding but you can certainly get funding because most companies now they do fund startups even though managing startup needs a love passion and just you know patience and perseverance because it needs a lot of hard work a lot of startups are predicted not to last for about 10 years in fact in order for a startup to to grow it needs almost 10 years in you know in order for it to grow but i think that's one of the ways a person can get rich one of in fact almost all of the companies that are very um successful today they all started up as a startup and i know that nigeria is basically the leading country in africa when it comes to startups so there is an emerging you know um ecosystem startup ecosystem in africa and i think that south africa should join that um that that ecosystem or that drive or that innovation but also you can't just start a startup because you can or because you have the skills to do that like you know how to code or you know how to solve business problems but I recently um, listened to this video by Y Combinator and what they what they said was very profound that a person should start a startup when there is a a problem they see in society or a problem they see within their community and the only way they think and they feel so deeply about the problem and the only way they think that they can solve the problem is by creating their own company that's when you can start a startup but otherwise because you can ah guys startup is it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of patience a lot of hard work and most of the time they don't pass they fail so um so those are one of the reasons why a person should join the tech industry is that you get the freedom to do your, your career and do to start your career or to uh, start a startup or start a business with just your skills and just your mind and just your creativeness. The third reason why you should take computer science as your major at university is that with your computer science degree, it can actually open up to a lot of career opportunities. It actually saddens me when majority of my classmates, majority of the people doing computer science, they want to become software developer. There is nothing wrong with it, but it, but people are just not aware that there's so many other career opportunities you can venture into with your computer science degree. You can do cyber security, um, cloud engineer, and there's something that we learned recently, which is solutions architect. You can do um, business analyst, project manager, project manager, product manager so these are one of the careers that I recently learned so that's why I'm actually pushing them so you can you can like venture into a lot of things with your computer science um, degree and not to influence anybody but doing business computing as my second major was one of the best things I've ever done at university I've ever chosen university I know I was complaining at first but it's actually one of the best decisions at university because um, business computing has allowed me to 
not look at a project through coding only like i have to look at budgeting scheduling just like the whole software development life cycle i have to go through it and to know how to make a business case so it made me realize that um, building a project to doing a software takes more than just code there are a lot of things that have to take in place in order for it for the project to become a success so I applaud business computing or information systems because of that now I know how to develop a project you know yeah so there are a lot of careers that you can take with your computer that you can um, embark on with your computer science degree so that's one of the advantages or one of the reasons why a person should choose computer science as their major at university and the fourth reason why a person should take computer science as their major at university is remote working i think on my on the video that i made two years back when I explained this point, I was still naive. Um, I explained it in a leisure point of view, right? Like in terms of like, you can go on a holiday when it's during work week or during work days, you can still go on a holiday. You just need to Wi-Fi in order to be connected. But there are so many, uh, yes, you can do that, but there are so many other reasons why remote working is so important in this day and age. So the first one is that you can actually work for an international company while in South Africa or while in your country and get paid in international currency. I know someone who is actually, in fact, I don't know them, but I listened to their video of somebody who worked in an international company while they're in South Africa and got paid in an international currency. And the second reason is it actually allows for students to work. So this June, I'm planning on basically um, doing my internship by God's grace I just hope that I get in but what one thing that I'm looking for is a company that allows for remote work that I don't have to come to the office every day that I can actually do my talks at home submit them maybe have a zoom meetings weekly check-ins but we don't have to come to the office because I still have assignments I still have classes to um, to attend so that's one of the perks of remote working now the third reason is that it can actually allow for re freelancers to prosper. So maybe if you have a business, you can actually work for international companies and also work for like national companies in a different province than you or work for clients. Your client landscape has expanded because of remote working. You don't have to interact with the person physically in order for you to get the job. You can literally just video call or you can um, hop on MS Teams or Google Meet. But basically what I'm trying to say is you don't have to physically interact with the person. You can do the job while you are in different time zones and also different places so that's one of the perks of remote working and i think that tech industry or tech jobs allow for that like a lot of times so that's one of the reasons why you should actually choose computer science as your major at gct the last reason but definitely not the least i think this one is very important is that you should choose computer science as your major at university if you like computer science okay like or love but if you think you enjoy or you just love the idea of tech yo it's so hard at university i'm not gonna lie uni is very hard i am a living testament of that hey you know university is very hard but it is better for you to be hard doing something that you are passionate about or something that you actually truly enjoy than to do computer science and also hate it and it's difficult yo that's a worse that's worse combination like that's a worse combination that you can you putting yourself up for failure because number one it's time consuming number two you get frustrated it's challenging imagine you don't like what you're doing and you are stuck now you know because you've paid money and you are already in the program so you have to continue with it so it's a very difficult um, journey. So I advise that you should do computer science if you truly enjoy computer science. Don't do it because of the money or because of pressure, but do it because you truly enjoy computer science. Okay, now we have come to the end of the video. I really hope you found this video very informative and you basically 
now know the reasons why a person should choose computer science in 2024 but if there are other reasons that you do want to share that you think a person should choose computer science for make sure you leave them in the comment section you like this video you've enjoyed it see you guys on the next video and in the next video i'll be saying i'll be mentioning five reasons not to choose computer science as your major at university in 2024 but till then bye guys thank you for watching Mwah.